This next gentleman coming out, a very funny man. He's appeared on Late Night with David Letterman, Evening at the Improv, and at the uh, Just for Laughs Comedy Festival in Canada. How about a hand for Mr. Norm MacDonald? Give him a hand. Oh, thank you. So how are you guys doing, all right? Oh, you look good. And uh, you ever have a dream? I had a dream the other day there. And uh, you ever have one of them dreams, and then you wake up right in the good part? Right in the best part, you wake up, you know, and then you're back in your stinking life again. And uh, so then you try to fall asleep, re-dream it. Man, that never works, huh? Always end up with some weird mutation of your original dream there, you know? Like the other day there, I was having a dream of, uh, I was in a pool with Christy Brinkley. You know, we were approaching each other there, and we're going, and then I woke up. And I tried to fall asleep there, and I ended up uh, shooting pool with David Brinkley. <laughs> so that wasn't that. Uh, everybody lies, right? You got to lie there, but uh, you ever lie for no reason? That's a bad lie there. You know, usually there's a reason, like you want to protect somebody's feelings or, you know, screw over your buddy or something like that, but... You ever lie for no reason at all? Just all of a sudden a big lie spills out of your evil head there? You know? And you don't even know, like a guy comes up to you and goes, Hey, you ever see that movie with Meryl Streep and a horse? And you go, Yes. <laughs> and in the back of your head you go, What the hell am I lying about over here? I, I stand to gain nothing by this lie. <laughs> the hell am I thinking back here in my head? I don't know, man. I got to get in shape. That's what I got to do. Work out. Be a big... I haven't worked out for... Uh, ever. I never worked out. <laughs> I was going to lie there again. God, has it been that long ever? <laughs> but uh, I got to start, you know. I used to be in good shape when I was younger. Oh, man, I looked good back then. Should have seen me back when I was like uh, well, one. <laughs> That's when I looked good. One. Oh, man, I was young and fresh. Oh, God. I could show you pictures of me when I was one. You wouldn't know me now, you know? I was gone to hell. Hell in a handbasket, as my great uncle used to say. Oh, you got it. And I look even good for my age back then. People come to me and go, what are you, zero? Right then. And I go, no, I'm one over here. And they go, man, don't look a day past zero there. I'm not both. I am. Look zero. And I go, well, thank you, but I must insist I'm one. I like watching sports. Yeah, I love that. I watch sports on the TV all the time. Man, they're good. Uh, except those sports. You ever see those sports where they just try to combine two sports and make up a new sport? Man, that stinks, huh? <laughs> you know, like, they don't even go together. It'd be like a guy, run a hundred-yard dash, and then fish. That is cliff diving. You ever see that guy hopping off a cliff, trying to pass that off as a sport, you know? Man, look at kind of, like, attempted suicide as a sport there. Like, <laughs> next week, they got washing down quaaludes with wood alcohol. That's next week. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah, I'm just making that part up. But uh, cliff diving, what a crazy... And you can't tell who's better, either. You see a guy hopping off a cliff, and you go, man, look at that. And then the next guy hops off a cliff, you go, oh, look at that again there. <laughs> Another guy hopping off a cliff. But you can't tell who's better, you know. If, if you survive at all, you're a great, you're a great. You're the, there's, only, there's, only a couple, there's only a couple of different levels of cliff diving. It's grand champion and then stuff on a rock over there. One of the two. It's a tough, it's a kind of a thing. Ah, but who knows, though. I love the TV. Anything at all on the TV. That's my life, man, the TV. Game shows. I love game shows. That is one game show. The Dating Game. You ever see that show? That's an odd show there, huh? No prize in a the show. They give you, like, uh, another contestant. That's your prize. And, uh, no budget at all on a show. And uh, they always do the same thing. Get a beautiful girl on the show. A beautiful, gorgeous girl. Then they match her up with three giant gorks there, you know? <laughs> Three of the biggest gorks you've ever seen. Last week they had a guy on. It was like a crazy guy. One kind of, some kind of a loony bin, psycho wingnut kind of a guy, you know? <laughs> you can tell by the way to introduce me. Bachelor number two is a shadowy lurking character. <laughs> Please welcome from no fixed address. He's just a guy there. And this menacing figure shambles into the studio there with a 
well thumb copy of Catcher in her eye sticking out of her back pocket. And then, then they make the girls ask those questions. That eh? always be laced with sex, these questions. You know, girl go, question number two, if I were a popsicle, what would you do to me? What would you do to me if I were a popsicle? That's what says not occurred here. <laughs> and the guy goes, well, if you're a popsicle, huh? Well, first of all, I guess I'd uh, take your wrapper off. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And then I'd uh, grab a hold of your sticks. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And then I'd press you against the counter. You're broken, too. You guys have been great. Thanks very much. And uh, I love you. I love you very much.